three shapes. The first shape is a circle. And the name of the shape is a hip. This is an oval. As we did last week, the shape is an ellipse. Hi, Miss. Hi. Can I have a minute of your time, please? I passed to check you earlier, and I realized that you were having a class. They were just not into the session. Well, I don't know what to do again. Eh? They're just not focusing at all, at all, at all. I, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. In the bed, they have introduced us to various apps and technology that we can incorporate into the classroom. And I want to show you something. It's called Power Tools, and it will really help the children to pay more attention in the class, to learn, and it will take some stress off it. Oh, I can't wait. Great. So, tomorrow, I'll get you yeah, back. Sure. Nice. Hi, Miss. Hi. So, as promised, I wanted to introduce you to Pound. This is a special website that I was introduced to through DepEd to integrate technology into my session. So, I never thought about using technology apart from using the stopwatch on my phone or um, probably playing a video from YouTube. But there are very interesting ways that you could actually use Powtoons or use technology in your classroom to get the attention of the students. So, this was actually a Powtoon that I used. In one of my lessons, um, I was able to put in my name. I created a character that looked something like me in the class, <laughs> right? Um, I could do voice recordings, so I'm just going to play a little snippet of it for you, and you could determine for yourself. I am here to teach you a lesson on sound effects. But first, we must set basic rules. Good. So I did this. It took me a couple hours, and I think this is one of the challenges with using the technology. It takes some time. But when you do a recording like this, you could do it not specific to one class, but you could do it for all your four months, especially if it's a lesson that you're doing for four months within a term, and this is something that you could store and keep and use for a couple of years because the information may not change, right? Um, apart from that, the cartoons is very interesting for the children to watch their inter cartoons, their inter animation, um, the colors itself, it brings a different environment. So when you take out the lights and you mm -hmm. use your projector and you actually play the power tunes, it, it grabs their interest. And they no longer want to look at the phone because they see an activity, they hear any voices, and it's something new for them. It's something very encouraging for them. And they learn everything from it. So even though it's preparation for you, when I used this in the class, it was very effective. It grabbed the students' um, attention from the start of the class. I used it as my introduction, and I also use it as a set induction for the children to start to think and it led me into the discussion for the class and then I was able to control the class for the 35 to 40 minute period that I had them for. Let me just show you how you could create the power tools. You teach art and I think the tools that they have at the side, first of all the app is, there's a free trial that you could use and actually down, download um, all of the photos that you will create and you could save it on your PDF, save it on your email and use it for future use. So it normally comes like how you have a PowerPoint, mm -hmm. but it's so versatile that you have characters that you could create different characters, different images, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's animation, right? Um, you have little objects and props that you could add to personalize your characters and then you have a sound effect that you could add, you could actually do your own personal voice recordings, mm -hmm. or you could download voice recordings, sound effects, and upload it into your power tool. So you could create a whole lesson for the whole 35 minutes or even a double period and have it played, and you could actually get some rest time as well as right. you <laughs> could be able to observe the reaction of the students and question them after. So it kind of hits into birds on one stone and giving you a little relaxation That's great. while it is you educate the students. So what do you think about using the power tools in the class? I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so for your next class, maybe you could try and use it. It's a free app I'm going to give you. It's powtoon.com. Mm -hmm. um, you could download it on your laptop and start getting creative with your lessons. Yeah, want to start writing. So you let me know how that goes for you, right? Yes. Okay.